മോഡ്യൂൾ ഫോർട്ടീൻ കൾച്ചർ സ്റ്റഡീസ് കൾച്ചർ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി റീകൺസിഡേർഡ് ബൈ തിയഡോർ ഡബ്ല്യു അഡോണോ ഇൻ ദിസ് എസ് എ അഡോണോ റീപ്ലേസസ് ദ എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ മാസ് കൾച്ചർ വിത്ത് കൾച്ചർ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ദിസ് ഇസ് ടു അവോയ്ഡ് ദ പോപ്പുലർ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് ഓഫ് മാസ് കൾച്ചർ ആസ് എ കൾച്ചർ ദാറ്റ് അറൈസസ് ഫ്രം ദ മാസസ് he prefers the term culture industry because of the commodification of the culture forms or artistic objects by referring to the term industry adorno does not point to the production process instead he is looking at the standardization of the thing itself it integrates both the high and low art He also makes the clear difference between the technique used in culture industry and the technique used in works of art. He says that the masses are secondary and are an appendage of the machinery in the culture industry. He argues that the culture industry claims to bring order in the chaotic world. The essay also makes a reference to Walter Benjamin's theory of aura. Thus, Adorno's concept of culture industry indicates a necessity for rethinking his theory of mass culture. Encoding or decoding by Stuart Hall. Notions of circuitry are central to Stuart Hall's conceptualization of how communities cultures and media constitute each other this is very explicit explicit in his encoding decoding model from 1973 the essay offers a theoretical approach of how media messages are produced disseminated and interpreted hall proposed that audience members can play an active role in decoding messages as they rely on their own social context and might be capable of changing message themselves through collective action hall compares two models of communication traditional model that is a sender message receiver and the four stage model the four stage model of communication takes into account the production circulation use and reproduction of media messages visual pleasure and narrative cinema by laura malvi the essay is divided into four sections introductory section it states laura malvi's objective to challenge the conventional practices of cinema constructed upon patriarchal norms hollywood movies propagate certain erotic codes which always put women in an object of pleasure second part deals with various kinds of ways in which pleasure is obtained through looking especially in the cinema watching evokes sexual satisfaction and it can become an obsession scopophilic pleasure is a function of sexual instincts and narcissistic pleasure is of ego libido third section deals with the sexual imbalances in a world of gayses the role of women in movies is merely to cater to the needs of men to freeze the flow of heroic action in erotic contemplation both the men in the screen and the men in the cinema auditorium in the final part laura malvi summarizes her essay that certain cinematic codes should be broken down the mainstream film and its pleasures then will be challenged subject of sex gender desire by judith butler the essay is taken from gender trouble 
feminism and the subversion of identity. Author argues that gender is a kind of improvised performance. This work is influential in feminism, women's studies and lesbian and gay studies and has also enjoyed widespread popularity outside of traditional academic circles. So subject of sex gender desire, they are divided into six chapters dealing with women as a subject of feminism, the compulsory order of sex gender desire, gender as a circular ruins of contemporary debate, theorizing the binary, the unitary and beyond, identity of sex and the metaphysics of substance, and last, language, power and strategies of displacement. Postmodernism and Popular Culture by Angela McRobie brings together 11 recent essays. A key theme is the notion of postmodernity as a space for social change and political potential. McRobie explores everyday life as a site of immense social and psychic complexity to which she argues that cultural studies scholars must return through ethnic and empirical work. The sound of living voices and spoken language. She also argues for feminist working in the field to continue to question the place and meaning of feminist theory in a postmodern society. In addition, she examines the new youth cultures as images of social change and signs of profound transformation.